Well, I got that corner done pretty well there, but all up underneath is rotted out. So I got to do that too. So that's what I'm doing. I'm cutting another piece here so that I can work on that. Well, it ain't very pretty right now, but it's done. And I'll tell you what happened. I fixed that little corner right there, but then I found the big hole all up under the door, so I went to fix that. And when I did, the whole back side up under the cab fell out. And I had to go way up high in there, wound up welding a piece of metal to a frame cross member and finding some places to attach. I had to rebuild the back side under the truck and then come under the cab and up inside the door with this side. And uh, after I got through, there were some little gaps in there, so my buddy had given me, my, my neighbor had given me this uh, jar of marine quality uh, sealer. It's kind of like seam sealer. And it's supposed to be good for wood and metal and fiberglass. And my other neighbor gave me a big roll of this screen wire. This is brass screen wire. So I used that brass and filled in any of the holes and gaps and coated it down with this stuff. And I'm going to let it get dry and then probably take a grinder and knock off the rough spots. It's all ugly right now. You can tell it's wicked ugly. But it's solid. If anybody gets under there poking around with a screwdriver, they ain't gonna they ain't gonna stick nothing through. So that's the main thing when you go to get it inspected. So after that dries, we'll come back and uh, clean it up and wipe it down, spray some paint on it and all that fun stuff. But anyway, that shot most of the day, so I don't know if I'm gonna get much else done today or not. I'm, I'm sort of leaning toward calling today, going in the house and taking my ease. I might just do that. We'll see what happens.